Destiny and Beauty here with another video. So today we are going to do a demo on the new Makeup Forever HD foundation. It's in this little goodie bag right here from Sephora. Um, I got my receipts. And I paid for that. And this is what it looks like give you a 360 of this foundation this is my first makeup forever foundation I am going to read a few claims of the, on this foundation but before I get into the foundation I just want to remind you guys don't forget to like this video thumbs it up subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when I post videos and you will never be late So let's get right into this foundation because this video is not going to be long. It's all about this foundation and that's it. So claims here. I got to put my glasses on. Lately I've been acting like I'm so young and I don't need glasses. But honey, sister need glasses. So it says it's a instantly blurs foundation. Natural finish, waterproof, sweatproof. But I think the one I'm going to mostly focus on is the one that says natural finish medium to um medium to full coverage i did did a review on the nards you can go ahead and check that video out and i also did a review on the charlotte tilbury um skin foundation that she just came out with you guys go ahead and view that but let's get into this newer foundation so so far three big company came out with new foundation for 2022 i'm going to use the milk hydro um grip primer and i apply my primer everywhere i don't just apply it in specific areas i apply it everywhere as if i was applying my foundation just as how i apply my foundation Alright, so the primer is add to the face. Now we are going to go into the foundation. I told you guys, this is going to be a very quick video. I'm not even going to do my, my whole face, really. I just want to see how this foundation looks on the face. I am using shade 4Y60. Now, let me give you a backstory on this. When I went to Sephora to get my shade, they have a whole range of shades. They have 40 shades, right? It comes in 40 shades. For some reason, 3Y56 is so close to my skin tone, but this peachish reddish look just keep peeking through and I just, I just couldn't pick it up. But I know if that was truly yellow undertone, it would have been the perfect match. This is the only one I'd say, you know what? I know it's not my skin tone to the T, but I think I can maybe work with this. So 4Y60 is a warm almond for tan to deep skin with yellow undertone. But the three, the 356 was, is warm hazelnut for tan to deep skin tone with yellow. They, there was no yellow in that 3Y, that 3Y56. It was more peachish, reddish undertone. And I was mad because I knew that would have been my shade. If that peach wasn't in there, it would have definitely be my shade. It's really cute. I love the, the cover for this. It's like some kind of magnet, but not a forcible magnet. It's just so easy to pull off and pull back on. Anyway, so let me go ahead. It does have a pump. All right, so let me go ahead and apply this to my face. And I'm going to be using this Smatchbox brush. Um, it says camera ready. I had bought this at Marshall. I'm not sure if you could see it. And I paid $14.99 for this. All right, so let's go ahead and add the foundation. Oh, even this foundation has a peachish undertone. <gasps> And now I'm looking at it. I don't, I don't think you guys could really see it. Alright. I put it on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to swatch it on my face for a little for you guys. So here it is. 
Oh man, this is not even. This is just. This is not my. This this peach is killing me. Like this peach undertone is killing me. All right, let's just apply that in your my face. Well, it kind of get lost into my skin. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, mm, I don't know what it's showing you guys on the camera, but I, I'm kind of, it's kind of giving me that little casket, um, shade because of this peach. This peach is not for me. Yellow? There's no yellow in this undertone. I'm telling you, there's no yellow. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just going to apply it all over my face okay okay guys so this is the finish look i just went ahead and did my brows and put some lip gloss on um i don't now i'm kind of liking the foundation because it's been sitting on my face for a little bit and it did dry um dries down to a slightly darker tone not much at all uh but the peach is just what's bothering me i don't know where what what is that peach formula like all right thank you guys so much this is a day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it don't forget to like subscribe comment down below what you want to see next if you had bought this foundation what you like about the foundation did you see what i saw or do you love what you have just go ahead, let me know, and don't forget to click the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and check out my playlist. Thank you guys so much. You have a blessed day. Bye.